Mega menus are a fantastic way to enhance your site's navigation and provide your users with a quick and easy access to important content. In this video, I'll show you how can you make a mega menu in Div Hunt. In Div Hunt, you can make mega menu without a single line of code, and to achieve this, you will need to install a plugin called Popup. After you install it, you can go back to the builder and start building your structure. Now, for our mega menu, we would need to make one component, and you can do this by going to the components layer and hitting this plus here. We'll input a name here of mega menu and hit confirm. Now our component is ready for editing. Here we can make any structure we would like our mega menu to have. So let's start with one container because we don't want our content to go out of boundaries. And inside of this container, let's add one div, which will be my grid. So I'll name it really quick here. And I want to have four cards in this mega menu. So let's start with a div in which I'll put one image, one h3, and let's add one paragraph here. Now, because I want four items here, I'm going to loop this div. And now I have four items. Let's edit this div here to be a grid. Let's set it to be grid and set four columns. And let's add a gap of 45 pixels. That looks decent. And now let's add some padding here. Let's select this parent div here and let's add top and bottom padding. I'll hold Alt on my keyboard in order to edit both values in the same time. And let's add some light gray background. This looks nice. And I like this. Now, all that is left here is to change my images and the text content. After I changed my images and my texts here, I will add some spacing between my texts and images. I will also make these texts a bit smaller. So let's begin with bottom margin on my image and let's make this H3 a bit smaller. Let's input some smaller font size. Let's go with 25. And let's as well change this paragraph here. Let's also put some smaller value in font size. Now I can add bottom margin to my H3 to make a bit of a breathing room here. And this already looks a way better. After I finished building my structure, I can go back here and connect everything. I want this link here to be the trigger for my mega menu. So all I have to do is set transform to it of pop-up. Now let's open these options here and Let's set event to be the hover because I want my mega menu to be shown on hover. Type here will be the component because we made the structure through component. Let's go here and select mega menu because that's the name of our component. And lastly, let's select the target. With this option, you basically choose on which parent you want your mega menu to be sticked. I want it to be to this navbar section here. So let's go into this target option and open the drop down. You can notice this navbar section. So I'll select it, then hit save. And now I can go to the live site to see what I've made. When I hover over this trigger here, you will notice that my mega menu is appearing, but it's a bit misplaced and it would be a way better if this menu would go from edge to edge in full width. If I want to achieve all of this, I would need to go back to the builder and add some additional settings. When I'm back in the builder, I can start working on those issues. Firstly, let's fix that positioning. For that, I'll need to set vertical align to be bottom outside. This means that my mega menu will be placed to the bottom part of my target and pushed outside of it. In this case, my target is navbar. Now let's go to the sizing. I want my mega menu to be full width of my target. To achieve that, I would need to set this option to yes. And because my target is this navbar section and it's full width of the viewport, my mega menu will also be in full width. Let's go back to the live site and see how it looks like. Now you will notice that my mega menu is placed right under my navbar. And for the sizing, it's going in full width from edge to edge, just as I wanted to. With the mega menus, you are not limited with the structure. 
I just kept it simple for this tutorial. You can add even more images, texts, even pack some other tags like videos or links. I hope that you learned something new in this video. I'll be seeing you in another one.